This video is a two for one. So that means I'm gonna show you two different things. The first one is going to be grading groups. And the second one is going to be individually assigned. You would use grading groups with individually assigned or you could use individually assigned all by itself. If you want to do individually assigned all by itself, fast forward probably somewhere around minute two and I will be showing that individually assigned. So the theme here is going to be differentiation. How can I make it where my students who need quiz A get quiz A, and then my students who need quiz B get quiz B. Um, so these are two quizzes over the same thing, but one might be modified uh, or accommodated. So in order to do that, what I first want to do is I want to create grading groups. And I'm going to go to Members, and then I'm going to click over right here in gray where you see Organize Members into Grading Groups. I'm going to go ahead, hover over, it says Add a Grading Group in red, and I'm going to click that. So let's say that I have a uh, someone who has a shortened assignment in my class. I can go ahead and create a grading group titled Shortened Assignment. Let's say that's Doogie Hauser. I'm going to click his name and create that grading group. To organize another group, I'm just going to hover over it, click again. And so let's say I want to go ahead and I want to make it where each student is in a group. And so this one's going to be a general assignment group. So Gwendolyn Cooper and Lisa Turtle, they do not need short assignments. I'm going to go ahead and create that grading group for them. If at any time I need to change who is in that group, either adding them or deleting, I can go over to the cog and press edit. Or if I want to completely remove that group, I can press delete. So the next part of the video is going to be how you can use these grading groups to assign students very easily the right materials for them. You'll notice that on quiz A and quiz B, the idea is, is I would never want to put down that I wouldn't want to say quiz and then write quiz modified or quiz accommodated or quiz short shortened assignment. Um, I want it to be seamless for students where they don't even realize that they are even getting another quiz. You might have it where one says quiz and the other one says quiz with period and you know that period means it's modified or accommodated. If I want to assign quiz A to my general, general um, class where there is no uh, accommodation or modification needed, I might go over here. I would go over here and press edit. And inside uh, your options, you'll see these three little circles. Uh, it's individually assigned. When I click that, I'm able to type in either the members or the grading groups. So this would be my general assignment group. And press save changes. And then over here inside my quiz B, I could go to edit and to my individually assigned. And I could go ahead and put my shortened assignment group and press save changes. Now, what's going to happen is Doogie Hauser is only going to see this version of the quiz because that's what he's been assigned. He will not be able to see quiz A because he has not been assigned to that. Likewise, the people in the general assignment will not see quiz B. They will only see quiz A because quiz B has not been assigned to them. Okay. So let's say that instead of using um, grouping uh, the grading groups, you just have a student you want to assign something to, or a group of students you want to assign something to. So let's say Lisa was out, she was very sick for a while, and you made her a special resource that you only want really viewable to her because you're doing something um, different for her to make up for what she missed. You could go to that assignment, so here's a page, and you can press edit, and poor Lisa, who was sick, is when in individually assigned, instead of assigning it to a grading group, we're actually going to start typing Lisa's name. And now only Lisa can see that. And we can add as many students as we want into here. So sometimes I have students that go ahead in class, and so I don't confuse the rest of my class. I'll assign things just to them. And so that's also a way that you can modify and differentiate for students who um, work more quickly or GT students or any other kind of population of students. You'll notice when you go into a folder, it does not allow you to individually assign a folder. However, you can assign the smaller components, the smaller materials within the folder. Okay, so if at any point in time you want to change that grading group, so let's say that I go ahead into B and I want to actually change it and make it where this isn't the shortened assignment group, maybe it was supposed to be some other kind of group, I can press this X right here, press Save Changes, and now it is it is for the entire class to see. I would have to go in then and actually change my grading group over. So 
that's a little bit about grading groups and it's a little bit about individually assigned so you can make meet the needs of all of your learners. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.